In this video, I hope to show you some things you could try when you're doing an acrylic painting that adds some realism to it. Uh, I'm not a professionally trained artist at all. This is just kind of learning as I go and uh, tried some dimensions and some detail lines and I uh, think I got pretty close to having it a realistic looking koi pond. Years ago, I went to my first and only art class and it was to make giant wall mural paintings. And um, it was painted directly on the wall, which means after the class, it was painted right back over again, white. And I wanted my own copy. So this is using turquoise paint, very light misted with water and pushing it in sections so hopefully it gives you a wave look to it. So do it in little bits and rub it in as much as you can to soften the waves. After that, add a little bit of that turquoise paint and some gloss and push down and soften it and let that dry. And now we're doing just straight gloss paint, no turquoise in it, nice and soft and put it in front of your projector and using the original artwork to save yourself a lot of work, you could just outline whatever your inspiration is and then fill in with white. Put your painting back in front of the projector and now using some really light gray paint, uh, put in the details where the eyes are, where the fins are, so you don't have to figure it out all the hard way. And then uh, kind of like a coloring book, start color blocking uh, the different sections of the fish. You use just plain opaque paint for the bottom parts of the color, but on the top, pick a pearlescent, pearlescent or a metallic paint to help give it some additional shimmer. And this shows you that shimmer. These were using uh, Createx uh, airbrush paints. They were great colors for this using really light black pearl paint, start putting in your details in your spots. And then when you like where you have it, you can come in a little harder with the paint. And now some shading. So we're using our watercolor thinned with some glazing medium and pushing down the edges of the fish so it gives us a more 3D look to it and add a lot to the fins to help make them look a little bit more translucent. And to add depth, using a filbert brush, pop in scales, literally, and do it in a 3D look. So if you look on the edges of the fish, they're darker, and in the middle, it's more of an orange, and at the top, it's like a pineapple color, but you just pop it on. This step was a little hard to do, but we're literally gonna bury these fish into the water. So using some glaze over and over again with the turquoise, we're pushing down those fish into the depths of the water. And you can see we did that a lot. And now we're coming in with another style of scale, which is pushing the paint onto and then moving it forward so you get a ridge. And, and again, doing the 3D colors, hopefully you see that you can get some pretty realistic scales onto this fish. Now it's a matter of detail work putting in more definition into the fins by adding in some thin black and then fluffing it out to the edges. And then we're going to use a thinner brush and adding lines in between the fish and pushing it up into the fish to add some more depth and 3D effects to it. And then finally, the title of this painting is Which Way? Uh, that nondescript whitefish is deciding what direction do I wanna go? Up, down, left, or right? And so we're using more of that glaze to push down the fish. So you can see the where it's going <laughs> or where it wants to go. <laughs> All right, well, this painting is done. Uh, again, the title is Which Way, and um, Which Way was kind of how this was for me, learning 
liked some new techniques and, and focusing on doing a painting on canvas, which is not a Halloween prop. <laughs> it was a, it was really cool. Um, I think I'm going to do more of this. But uh, anyways, uh, I hope you learned a few things. And thanks for taking the time to watch. Take care. Bye.